One thing I really want to say, and I, and I want to make this very clear to all my viewers out there. I love hip hop. I grew up with Big Daddy Kane, you know, the Jungle Brothers, Tribe Called Quest, De La Soul, Kwame, whoever you want to talk about in hip hop. I listen to their music, I party to their music, I listen to hip hop to this day. I sometimes feel bad for criticizing hip hop, but I guess what I'm trying to do is to get us men to just take a hard look at ourselves. So I raised money, bought a video camera, hired a film crew, and began my journey to examine the representations of manhood in hip hop culture. Some of the young people in hip hop are focusing in on the very deployment of the gun as the paraphernalia of masculinity, as the very symbol of what it means to be a real man. Violent masculinity is at the heart of American identity. If you're a young man growing up in this culture and the culture is telling you that being a man means being powerful, being dominant, being in control, having the respect of your peers, but you don't have uh, a lot of real power, well one thing that you do have access to is your body and your ability to present yourself you know, physically as somebody who's worthy of respect. And I think that's one of the things that accounts for a lot of the hypermasculine posturing by a lot of young men of color and, and a lot of working class white guys as well. You talk about killing brothers like it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Not, not just you, but a lot of brothers. You know what I'm saying? Do you watch movies? Oh, yeah. What kind of movies do you watch? Good question. I mean, if you watch Hollywood movies, you see this same kind of violence, the same kind of hyper-masculine violence perpetuated in movie after movie after movie. In sports culture, video games, in military culture. I mean, America is a very hyper-masculine, hyper-aggressive nation. We're gonna smoke them out. So it stands to reason that a, a, a rapper like 50 Cent can be commercially viable in a nation that supports a culture of violence. You attend a controversy surrounding rap artist Nelly led to an emotional meeting at Spelman College tonight. The discussion focused on hip hop videos and how they portray women. I said it must be ass cause it ain't your face. I need a I need a In the video, Nelly is seen swiping his credit card down a woman's backside. This man is so important and so powerful. And these women, conversely, are so dime a dozen, or I guess a dime for two dozen, you know, if there's 24 women standing around, that they don't matter. They're just eye candy. They're worthless. Do you have any problem with, like, rappers calling women bitches and hoes and stuff like that? Nah, because tell you the truth, some of them is bitches, see? It's not really directed towards you personally. It's just what they say in sex sales. I think a bitch is a bitch. It's funny when I hear women say, when these rappers are calling, you know, women bitches and hoes, they're not talking about me. It's like, yo, they are talking about you. If George Bush was to get on national TV and make a speech, and he started calling black people niggas, would you be like, I don't know who George Bush is talking about, but he ain't talking about me. Are you that funky, dirty, money-hungry, scandalous, stuck-up, hairpiece, contact-wearing bitch? Yep, you probably are. You know, all these things that you hear all of the time in hip-hop, you hear it all of the time, and it goes unrecognized and unchecked because it's so normalized. I'm dealing with homophobia in hip hop, right? Homophobic lyrics and things like that. I'm, what, what, I can't <laughs> partake in that conversation. Home, that homo shit, yeah. as you talking about? Yeah. I can't even talk to you about that. The only way that you can be a man, a black man, a Latino man, is to be hard, you know what I'm saying? To denigrate women, to denigrate homosexuals, to denigrate each other, to kill each other. There's something wrong with that. 70% of the buying community now is a white community. The white people want to hear that killing that Virginia. It appeals to our sense of um, of learning about other cultures and wanting to know more about something that we'll never probably experience. It's it's my style. I mean, I mean, you guys, colored people, can say that it's their music, but I mean, I can get down to it just as much as they can. I, Who are you, man? Did you, did you just say colored people? <laughs>